for Plymouth Sutton here in Old Town Street, which was the site of some of the terrorist-related uh, activity on the Friday of the May Bank holiday. And I'm out and about uh, meeting people, talking to people, uh, all of us trying to make sense of what is happening. So Drake uh, Circus, which is in front of me, very busy. Uh, the terrorism clearly has a whole new dimension to it. They're using vulnerable people, preying on them. And we're obviously going to have to build a lot more on what we've been doing to support people uh, who have mental health problems and are otherwise vulnerable in the community, whatever age they are, young people, uh, old people, men and women. Um, we need to build this into our security infrastructure. Uh, so we all need to be on the lookout and clearly with this uh, new dimension to terrorism uh, we shouldn't hesitate to raise with the police any change in behaviour as well as odd circumstances uh, that we come across as a terrorism headline and it's 0800 789 321. You didn't have any hesitation about coming into this? No, no, I've lived in Plymouth all my life, so at the end of the day, you can't let negative things get you down, in my opinion. Yeah. Keep trucking. Yeah. It's close to home, but you can't let it stop you. Oh. Yeah. And quite safe out about in Plymouth. Absolutely. Doing a good job. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, during the hours of daylight, I feel very safe. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's, it's even more yeah. police yeah. on the beat now. Yeah. It's very reassuring. Um, I would feel less safe at night, I think. But that could be because as a pensioner you feel more vulnerable if you're out after dark. But generally I think the police do a tremendous job. I have every confidence. Oh, in that. And we need to give them the tools to do the job and we'll be debating that in Westminster in the coming weeks. And uh, if you have views on this then I want to hear you, your views to either through this uh, website or you can contact my local office on 01752 22 double six two six.